Uh, we're going to do some more decoding with 8Baller. Eight 8Baller, eight we're going to bring you back on and talk some Tesla. You were seeing some shenanigans going on between Papa Musk and Saudi Arabia's Sovereign Wealth Fund. What were you able to decode there? Give me one second, because oh, I wasn't set up properly. A few Thursdays ago, where is it? I brought to you the research report from Morgan Stanley. And Jonas is the axe on Tesla. And at the time, Tesla was trading 145 bucks. Stock's now 200 plus dollars. I want to make you aware. When I bring you uh, information, you should pay attention. Soros was one of the bigger buyers in Tesla, some of the cheapy stocks as well. Tesla right now, the solid, the, um, this, this could be a rumor, but the Saudi Sovereign Wealth Fund may have a 190 million share position in Tesla. So pretty crazy filing. Natixis is a bank out of France. You know, and, and it evidently had a very large Tesla buyer during the fourth quarter. Could have been Soros. Or could be the Saudi Sovereign Wealth Fund. I'm going to keep an eye on 187 on Tesla. This is the backlog, backlog orders in Tesla. You see the numbers, 87,000. After investor day, which is March 1st, I will be breaking out the bazookas to be shorting the stock. So. Mm. 143 Vaz, a few weeks ago in Money Morning Live, the stock's $200. I hope you guys, I hope you all nailed it. Garrett wants to jump in. Garrett, you have a, a bonus question for Bobby? I do. So, Bobby, I'm very interested in this because we've obviously been watching these you know, crazy short squeezes over the last month, month and a half. And now what we're seeing, you just mentioned Soros. Soros has a bet against Silvergate, and now you're seeing Citadel, high-frequency traders, come in and try to squeeze out Soros on a short yeah. squeeze. Is this yes. going to be the future, or, or is this what we're going to be doing now, and how susceptible does it leave anyone who's trying to short this market when you've got a company like Citadel Securities now taking direct aim on short squeezes that's typically a retail job that's <laughs> yeah. not something that that's not something that ken griffin gets involved in but this is a whole new animal to this market well looks like griffin he wants to be, partake in the ponzi scheme that is si my <laughs> god so you have it's, it's a great question man you got see soros is not really you know, it's not really what Soros was back in the day. Soros related stuff is long gone. They're, they're a pod shop, you know, pod shop, mm -hmm. just a multi manager hedge funds. You know, they've got different teams investing money. They run a, so they it's run a, under it's his a very short term investment style that aims to make money by, you know, having a very view on quarterly earnings. It's just some dude with a book. But yes, that's the that's the game. The, the gamma squeezes, forcing other ha people's hands. And again, doesn't hurt that Bitcoin just rallied 2000 and you know, strengthen the crypto. So SI was a phenomenal squeeze and it's not going to stop. One last thing, go Bobby, after each other. Out of all yeah. of the people that I've ever met on Wall Street, the people that I've talked to, people that I've run into that have any level of power on Wall Street, I've had I've talked to them and some people are like, yeah, I'm friends with Jamie talking about Jamie Dimon. Yeah, I'm, I'm friends with uh, Charles talking about Charles Prince at, at uh, Bank of America. The only person that never had their first name mentioned was George Soros. No matter who that person was, they always called him Mr. Soros. <laughs> They're like, yeah, Mr. Soros was very nice in helping me get my fund off the ground. Only person. And I was like, what is going on? So I've ju just a casual observation. Mr. Soros, we must refer to him as that. As I would too, as well. <laughs> the guy's a powerhouse. The guy's moving markets. He guys, it's the resources behind him. You have to pay attention. He is a major player. All these names. Griffin came in. Listen, that's <clears throat> these are big egos. 
All right, Mr. Baldwin and Mr. Baller, let's move on to some gold futures. <laughs>